I spent 4,000 hours on Fortnite and today I'm gonna be revealing the 6 best tips that I've learned throughout my journey. I'm gonna be breaking each of these steps down and explain why these tips are so essential to learn. If you enjoyed this video then please do me a little favor and use my code Lukicha in the item shop. Tip number 1 is mechanics. There is no good player without good mechanics, even if you have got aim. I'm not saying that mechanics are the number one thing you have to focus on, but if you don't train your mechanics then forget about ever self-improving in Fortnite. Just practice it enough where you don't go down cause you didn't keep up with the pressure. Also people ask me what my practice routine is for mechanics and if I'm being honest I don't have one. Simply due to the fact that I train my mechanics to the level where I don't need to train them anymore. All I need to practice is not messing it up cause it's already in my muscle memory and I can practice that in free builds. That's why you need to put some time in your mechanics, because once you are in a fight, you already have everything in the back of your head. But if you are a beginner or just feel like you haven't practiced enough, then my map suggestion would be Jivin's practice map. All you do is join this free building area and do different drills while trying to piece these bots up. You can also do this in fast and slow motion. But if you don't know which drills to do, then I made a separate video about that, which you can watch if you want after this video. It's gonna be the first link into my description. Second tip that I'm gonna reveal is warm up. Having a good warm up is essential to improving in Fortnite. You might be confused and thinking, what does warm up have anything to do with improving? But trust me, there is nothing worse than going into a ranked game or even any tournament with no warm up. You're literally missing all of your shots, feel like you just started playing Fortnite. You can't even do a basic double edit and you lose most of your fights. Then you get mad and guess what you do, you quit. So to avoid all of those things that I just listed from happening, you need to start doing proper warm ups. Now of course I've also made a video about this as well, but I must still reveal my own warm up routine which includes 3 maps. The first map is Click's 1v1 zero delay map. I just do a few drills here and a free build a little bit. Second map is Marto's turtle fights map and this really helps me warm up my shotgun aim while also playing box fights. And the third and last map that I warm up in is in forever zoners. I mostly play this map when there's a solo tournament or something else. Cause this map is made specifically for an endgame. And that's it, I'm gonna put all the map codes into a description if you wanna try them out. Tip number 3 is peace control. Now what is peace control? It's basically where you claim building pieces around the enemy. So if you claim a wall and your enemy is on the other side of the wall, you technically peace control them. Reason why I think you should master this move is because it's easy and simple while it works really well even against pros. There are many levels of peace control from beginner to pro, but peace control is all about timing. And the weird thing about it is it doesn't even work every time. You may outtime it or outplace it. For example, if the enemy is trying to rebox into another direction, you may think he's boxing up on the right side and he may go left, you never know. But if you do get it correctly, then you get a massive advantage on your opponent. You have to kind of just feel it, like, oh, I put a ramp in his box, I feel like he will edit down his floor. There's also something called pre piecing pre piecing means you piece control into a direction early, before you even think your enemy will go there. Reason people do this is to kind of let their enemies know that they already piece controlled them and they better not go there. So it kind of blocks your opponent's escape from one side. Before we get to tip number 4, I quickly want to talk about epidemic sound. If you're a small content creator like myself and just don't know what kind of music you should put on your videos, then this is the website for you. A lot of big YouTubers are using this program where you can gain access to 40,000 tracks and over 170 genres. So you can choose any type of music you want on your videos. They also have 7 day free trial and you can check them out with link in my description. Tip number 4 is decision making. Stop questioning your decisions and take opportunities you're given. I'm even telling this to myself and I'm trying to improve on it. But if you adopt your decisions and never try something different, you'll never improve. Don't expect the different results for doing the same thing. Even as an IGL myself, I sometimes doubt my calls which transforms into wasting time. So I try to remember to not question my plays and do them even if they're wrong. That's really all improving is about. Try different things and if they don't work just learn from them and finally the last thing you have to catch up on if you haven't is sprint building reason why i put this skill here is because it's so useful in build fights if you get comfortable with sprint building then you will get high over your enemy in every fight here are some moves that you can practice with sprinting first up is basic sprint ramp rushing 
Just sprint, place your ramp and do it again for as long as you want. If the enemy is not doing this, then of course you will get high ground over them. A lot of people also ask me how I start my 1v1 build fights. So here it is. I sprint and place a stair and do 290s. Then I put a ramp in front of me and sprint while also placing floor and stair like this. Then I just jump and place a floor, wall and another stair. Next up is sprint infinite 90s. Yes, it does look weird. And all you do is place floor and a stair while turning 90 degrees and sprinting. And the last drill is sprint side jumps. You may notice that I use this a lot and it's one of my favorite moves. Just sprint to side, jump and place walls and cone above you. Or you can just do it like this. That's it. I truly think these are the 5 best tips that I can give you with my own experience. If you master all of these tips that I just showed you, you will improve on a lot and save yourself a lot of time. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to use code Lukicha in the item shop. Cause as I said, it helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to check out Epidemic Sound. Peace out.